This is the new TT Artisan 50mm 0.95 for the Leica ML. Artisan's 50mm has a staggering maximum aperture of f0.95. There's only a handful of lenses that you can even buy, period, old and new, that have a maximum aperture of 0.95, so the fact that there is a lens that you can buy that's a full-frame Leica M-mount lens that has a 0.95 aperture for well under $1,000 is pretty ridiculous. The lens comes in at $755. When compared to the Leica Noctilux 50mm 0.95, which is also an M-mount rangefinder 50mm lens, that lens is $12,500. So being able to get a lens that has similar specs on paper as the Leica version for only $750 is pretty ridiculous. I don't have the Noctilux to be able to compare this lens to directly, but there have been some direct comparisons of the exact same photos being shot with the Noctilux and this TT Artisan lens side by side on Leica rumors. And from what I saw in those tests, I actually prefer the look of this lens over the Noctilux, which is pretty crazy considering the immense price difference. This lens does not look bad wide open, which a lot of lenses that have crazy maximum apertures usually look super soft and they're only really good for you know, dreamy looking effects, but this lens is actually very well controlled at f.95. In the way that I use the lens, I generally frame things in the rule of thirds spots, so it's not directly in the center, but the, everything that I've shot with this lens has been more than adequately sharp, especially considering how fast this lens is. The bokeh on this lens looks great. It's really uniform. It, it doesn't get too crazy near the edges, which a lot of really crazy maximum aperture lenses usually get sort of annoying in the edges, which is actually what I think this lens does better than the actual Leica Noctilux. I think that gets a little too crazy looking, like the cat's eye sort of effect in the corner is a little too much for me, and it ends up sort of looking triangular, which some really wide aperture 50 millimeter lenses do. It's pretty crazy value that you're getting for a lens of this cost with, you know, a spherical elements and the sharpness and wide aperture that you're getting. Really the only drawback of this lens to me is the weight. One thing I love about this lens is you basically can replicate the look of medium format, but without actually using a medium format camera. The fact that this lens opens up to 0.95 gets ridiculously shallow depth of field, even if you're really far away from your subject. So you basically can replicate the look of a medium format shot. Take a six by six negative on a hospital what it do, what it does, where you been, where you was, what it ain't, what it is. Facing the mud, y'all really be hating in the mud, said I can't pick it up, but I did. Y'all know goon put too much bass in the sub, cup full of blood and I gave it a chug. Wait till your neighbors get all snug, then play this real loud where you live. This, that, get out here and work like they kidnapped your family. Get out here and work like they kidnapped your family. About 500 cm with a 80 millimeter f2.8 lens. That's roughly a 44 millimeter f1.5 equivalent on 35 millimeter. So if you had a 44 millimeter 1.5 on a 35 millimeter camera, it would give you roughly the same depth of field as that Hasselblad camera. So with a 0.95 lens, you can get even shallower than what would look like on a medium format camera at the same field of view. So that's pretty impressive. And you know, if you cropped stuff to six by six, you know, one to one, you can get a very similar look to a medium format camera by just walking around with a digital Leica or adapted to a, a full frame mirrorless camera. I think that's really cool. It has a different feeling, definitely feels like a larger format because you're getting a much shallower depth of field at the same field of view that you would normally get, you know, with other 50 millimeter lenses. 
lenses. So I think it's a really unique experience shooting with a lens that's this fast. And it's just amazing that this lens can be so sharp even at that wide open aperture. One thing that bugged me about the look of this lens when I first got it was that the distance marks engraved on the lens, some of them were painted yellow and some of them weren't. The OCD in me sort of kicked in and it just really bugged me. Some of the other lenses from TT Artisans were painted. I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and bought a pretty much a standard yellow enamel paint and ended up painting the lens myself. You can actually just dab a little bit of it into the engraved markings, let it dry for a little bit, maybe like 10, 15 minutes until it gets tacky, and then take some rubbing alcohol on a, I used a Kim wipe. I, I just wiped off the excess paint from outside of the markings, and then it leaves the paint inside the markings there. It was actually really easy. It maybe it took me about an hour to do it total, because I was just being really careful not to get the paint in other markings. I think it looks so much better now. I don't know why they didn't do that from the factory. Maybe they should in the future, but I think it looks so much cooler. So all of the photos in this video were edited with my new Lightroom preset pack. It's been a long time coming. I've been meaning to put out a pack for a while. A lot of people have been asking me how I get the look I do in my images. If you click the link below the subscribe button, you can go ahead and pick that pack up. I think the 50mm 0.95 TT Artisan lens is an incredible value for the money. I've reviewed several lenses from Seven Artisans, and I have a few from TT Artisan that have all been really good value for the money, but honestly, I think this is the biggest surprise to me next to the Seven Artisans 28mm 1.4, which I think is an incredible lens. But this lens, I was expecting something far worse. You know, you see a lot of really fast lenses these days, but they're not like great. But this lens is really, really good, and it makes me want to get rid of all of my other fast 50mm lenses that I don't really use very often, and I was sort of holding on just so I like had a fast lens in my arm. Personal, but I think this lens beats both of them, it, you know, beats the Canon and Nikon 50 1.2s that I have. And, you know, it has the ability to use it on my Leica, use it digitally, use it on film. If you're in the market for a portrait lens, and if you even wanted to try to replicate the look of medium format because of how shallow the images you can get, even from far away distances from your subject, I think this lens is an absolute no-brainer. $755, which is still a big chunk of change. You're not going to find something that has this maximum aperture and the ability to use it on a film camera. If that's what you're in the market for, then this lens is going to be an amazing buy for you.